Agility Robotics says its new factory will start producing humanoid robots by the end of the year. Agility calls its RoboFab facility in Salem, Oregon, the world's first factory for mass-producing humanoid. According to the Salem Reporter, Agility plans to hire 500 people to produce the digit robots. The 70,000-square-foot factory can produce up to 10,000 robots per year. In its first year, RoboFab plans to build hundreds of digit robots, with more to follow as production increases. The 5'9 digit carries up to 35 pounds and works 16-hour days. Introduced in 2019, Digit integrates well with other automated systems and has made significant progress at a facility operated for Spanx. It perceives its surroundings with advanced LiDAR and stereo cameras. It navigates autonomously, effectively avoiding obstacles. Digit robots will work alongside human workers in the new factory. In a new interview with Forbes, Agility CEO Peggy Johnson said the robotics company is focused on demonstrating Digit's practical value. So Digit is a multi-purpose robot, and although we're starting in the logistics area because the demand is so high there, Digit can learn new skills, it can operate in the healthcare industry, retail, transportation, um, there's a whole world out there. But we're starting where the demand is highest and where we have the current feature set that can meet that demand. But AI now will be able to help us teach Digit new skills very quickly to move into these other markets. The humanoids are designed specifically to work safely alongside people and can help with tasks like moving and loading boxes. As the robots work, they collect data to help improve their performance. They identify where the robot makes mistakes and use that info to refine their algorithms. And so as you're trying to go out there and do the correct thing all the time in all of the cases, which is the measure of success of the good robot, what you really do is you, you build up these large data sets and then you drill into them to sort of find all the places where you, you kind of deviate for some unexpected reason. Something was outside what you planned for. And you can use that to improve what the robot's doing. You can Jonathan Hurst co-founder and chief robotic officer of Agility, told the Salem Reporter his company aims to enable people to be more human than human. He emphasized Digit isn't intended to replace humans, but take on dull, dirty, dangerous, repetitive tasks companies struggle to hire for. Salem is about 47 miles north of Portland. Hearst told the newspaper the city of 180,000 was chosen for its central location and access to skilled workers. In the Forbes interview, CEO Johnson said Agility is focused on developing the next generation of their products, likely including enhancements, so Digit meets broader market needs. Well, it's not a futuristic thing. Digit can work today. She said she wants to create an app store for its robots, so companies can easily add new programs and change what the robots can do to fit different jobs. Digit is one of at least three humanoid robots major logistics provider GXO has in use. GXO Logistics operates 869 warehouses across 27 countries, employing nearly 100,000 people. Headquartered in Connecticut, GXO handles outsourced supply chains and warehousing for giants like Nike, Apple, and Boeing. Since it was spun out of XPO Logistics in 2021, GXO has experienced explosive growth. The company invests heavily in automation and robotics, which has attracted large clients across industries. Today, GXO is boasting its partnerships with three top developers of humanoid robotics. Newly released footage shows the three AI robots performing various warehouse tasks. Apollo by Uptronic is being used to develop real-world applications that improve warehouse operations. Standing 5'8", Apollo can lift up to 55 pounds. Featuring a modular design, Apollo can work stationary, mounted on wheels, or fully mobile with legs. Initially focused on warehouse tasks, Apollo's functionality can be expanded through software updates. Optronic aims for Apollo to become the iPhone of humanoid robots. The Reflex Robot, developed by New York-based Reflex Robotics, is a highly energy-efficient robot that moves quickly over long distances. It has a wheeled base with movable arms and sensors. Reflex is priced under $50,000, far less than other humanoid robots. Reflex's lower pricing aims to make warehouse automation more accessible through scalable manufacturing. Reflex is not fully autonomous. It can perform some repetitive tasks, but it often requires human input to manage and direct its actions. 
it can be remotely operated up to 3,000 miles away, offering flexibility for managing robots across locations. Reflex Robotics is piloting its second generation model and plans to deploy hundreds by 2025. GXO says it sees significant value in using collaborative humanoid robots to work alongside people. The company's incubator program partners with developers early to explore applications and refine robot capabilities. Agility is moving toward mass production as a growing array of companies globally race to dominate the market. Agility is up against the likes of Figure 02, which Figure AI calls the world's most advanced and first commercially viable autonomous humanoid robot. Figure's much-hyped robot recently completed testing at a BMW plant, and the luxury automaker is exploring future use. Unitree's H1, a Chinese AI robot that can do backflips, is touted as the fastest humanoid robot on two feet. The H1 is available for purchase, with prices ranging from ninety dollars to over $150,000 and is already used in universities for robotics research. Unitree recently introduced the mass production ready version of its G1, a downsized version of the H1 priced at $16,000. Phoenix, from Sanctuary AI, which the startup says will bring artificial general intelligence into physical reality. Tesla's Optimus, which Elon Musk says could boost the EV automaker's market value into the trillions, is also in the spotlight. A small number of Tesla bots are being tested at Gigafactory, with plans to produce a limited number in 2025 for internal use and increased production in 2026. And of course, Boston Dynamics' new electric atlas. The list grows daily. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.